This is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com and this is my Santa Anita Saturday video for Saturday, April 15th, 2017. We're going to do the fourth race from Santa Anita. It's going to be the Grade 3 Los Angeles for three-year-olds and up, six furlongs on the main track. We only have a five-horse field in here. Let's look at the Digest contenders. So we're going to start with number one, Kentuckian, uh, for trainer Jerry Hollendorfer. He's 5-2 to two morning line. He has some early pressing speed, looked okay, earning a, a decent fire number last time out. And uh, he, he's going to be saving the ground. He's going to be up on the pace, but he does lose his, his rider. He's out of town riding at Keeneland. Uh, so he'll get Stuart Elliott. Stuart Elliott is one for one with, with Hollendorfer. And he's an aggressive rider, so I would expect, based on his pace ratings and, and the way that he usually runs, he, he should be forwardly placed. He's one of two horses for trainer Jerry, Jerry Hollendorfer. Jerry Hollendorfer also saddles a number three, Ike Walker, and he's five to one morning line. He's the longest shot in here. Uh, in, in, in his start sprints, he's had uh, six starts with a win, a second, and two-thirds. He's, he's an okay uh, sprinter, but uh, I think he's facing some better horses in here. I think all five actually have a shot, but I think Ike Walker is your, your least likely winner of, of the five. Uh, Grays in Sky, number two, he's going to be rallying from off the pace, and he's four to one morning line, and he's very consistent. He always seems to be in the mix, finishing in the top three. He's two for two at the six furlong distance of this race, so look for him to be... Finishing full of run, it's just a question, of, is he going to get is he gonna get enough pace help in here? That's going to be the question. Maybe Kentuckian will show some speed, Lord and Simba, Eastwood. So three of the five horses at least can be forwardly placed. And if the pace gets hot enough, I wouldn't be shocked if Grayson Scry ran a decent race. And then he had a nice training track work for this on, on uh, April 7th. So, so look for him uh, to be finishing in the stretch. Now, your last two entrants in here, Lord Simba for trainer Bob Baffert, comes off of a romping maiden win. Maybe he has the most upside. They're going to throw him in there and see where he classes up against this group. But he could not have found a softer spot for his stakes debut. And that last fire number was much better than his other races. And he just romped there. He also had a bullet work on April 11th. And Bob Baffert, obviously a, a good trainer, one of the best trainers in the, in the country. And he's going to give this horse a shot in the stakes ranks. And he's lightly raced. He's got some upside. He has some speed. Uh, Martin Garcia is going to ride, and, and I think that he's he's a big contender in here. And then Eastwood is your morning line favorite. He's 2-1 to one morning line uh, for trainer Richard Mandela. He was in the Todd Fletcher barn. He hasn't been seen since 2015. But he did win off of an, more than an eight-month layoff. That was on April 24th of 2015. And this one is he's, he's going to be up on the pace on the outside. Uh, for trainer Richard Mandela, he's been doing well lately. He's uh, three for his last 15, 20% wins. With these horses with 90 plus day layoffs, he clicks at a 22% rate. Uh, so, so, for, so look for this one uh, to be up on the pace uh, in his first start in a long time. And my top three horses in this race, uh, Lord Simba is going to be my top, my top contender. Uh, Eastwood will be my second choice. And then Grays and Sky will be my third choice. And maybe that's where you can make some money in this race. Uh, we're going to play an exacto. Probably, uh, I would say, play Lord Simba over Eastwood and Grays and Sky. And then maybe play Lord Simba and Eastwood over Grays and Sky. So if Grays and Sky can get up for second and our top choice Lord Simba wins, maybe we can make a few dollars in a short field. Now, if you're interested in my full card analysis, you can go over to todaysracingdigest.com. I sell full cards each day from Santa Anita Park. Click on the Professional and Handicappers Report tab uh, to find that full, those full cards. And if you're interested in, in purchasing uh, the Complete Digest for Saturday uh, April 15th for Santa Anita Park. Go over to todaysracingdigest.com. Click on the products page. You can purchase that complete digest. It's a, it's a decent card for Saturday, April 15th. And that'll wrap up this video. I'm actually going to be doing a bonus video also for the digest this week. We're going to do the Arkansas Derby. So go check that one out. It looks like a much better betting race than this race uh, with, with a good 10-horse field. Um, so go check that out.